I was born in Bosnia, and when I was a little guy, I was a refugee, and I left the country under very difficult circumstances. And so a lot of my youth was shaped by what I saw around me, which was very negative things, uh, things that had a lot of weapons and, and things like that. So for me, arms refers to weapons, and sleepers refers to people that ignore the people with weapons. And when I was little and, and in Bosnia, that's basically what I saw. I saw on the media that there are a lot of people holding guns and killing other people, and then there were a lot of people in other countries, in Western Europe and the US, that were just not paying any attention to it. And that's kind of where it comes from. But we're not trying to be a super political band. It's just something that's a personal thing for me. This is the catch box. And this means that uh, the audience can also ask questions to the guys in Arms and Sleepers. But so, if you don't catch yeah. the box, if you drop it, you can't ask a question. No. You have to catch it. Yeah. Sorry. You mentioned that you are from Bosnia, right? Yes. Um, so do you have a preference for going to which countries you would like to visit? I mean, do you want to go to the former Yugoslavian countries? Do you want to go um, to Eastern I've, Europe? I've played there before. Um, you mean to live or to, to perform? No, 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 just to, to tour and to... Yeah, I mean, I prefer to tour in Eastern Europe. It feels like home to me, I guess, in a weird way. Um, when you see the crazy gray communist buildings on the outskirts of cities, somehow I feel joy. Uh, <laughs> nobody else does. Uh, but it's just what, I'm, you know, what I was born into and what I saw in the first formative years of my life. Um, so I love to tour in Eastern Europe. Um, and uh, the audiences there tend to be really super kind and energetic and supportive. So it's always a really, they're always really good shows. So, yeah. So do you also plan for that kind of stuff? Do you also plan to mostly go to Eastern Europe or do you just... No, I mean, I mean the I honest truth is there were a small band. And that means that, you know, there's a saying, beggars can't be choosers. So, <laughs> you know, we take any show. <laughs> Literally, I've played in any kind of a situ in all kinds of different situations, but it's we're not picky at all. We we'll, we'll, we're happy to go wherever. I mean, we're playing in a random little town in Ukraine next week, so that's fine with us. So yeah, it was already mentioned. You've been here quite a few times. I don't mind, but uh, very yeah. good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, did Dunk ask you to come back, or did you like the ambience? Yeah. How did it go? Uh, in the past, it's been uh, the booking agencies that we worked with that have you know, arranged it for us. Uh, in the last couple of years, we have gotten very tired of working with anyone in the music business industry, so we tried to do everything DIY. Um, uh, I have stories about that that I tell at the shows. When we play, I don't know if I'll have time for that tonight, but uh, now we try to work directly with people that we like. And we really like Luke at Dunk and everybody else at Dunk. Um, they're really wonderful people and extremely supportive of independent artists. And so it's usually just a very simple email exchange. There's no contracts, there's no bullshit, and everything works out. So we try to work with people that we've met in person, that we've looked in the eyes, that we trust, uh, and vice versa. And, and it's very simple. Okay, actually, I have a question that, as far as I know, you and Max live in different con uh, in different states, right? Dif yes, we do. Uh -huh. uh, and how actually do you manage to do all this music together? Email. Email, really? <laughs> <laughs> yep. So you, you write your part, email it to Max, and he... Kind of. Write, kind oh, of, yes. I mean, that's not... That's actually very impressive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, not like when we're working on an album and it comes down to, like, really getting it done. Of course, we're there together in the studio, but... For a lot of the initial ideas, it's it's just uh, email and FaceTime <laughs> and Skype. And how did you start to work to together? Uh, we met in high school. We hated each other. Uh, he he once pulled my pants down in front of a lot of people, and I got very mad. And uh, we were not friends for many years. And then uh, many years later, it's a true story. Many years later, we just uh, were playing in different bands and didn't like those other people and liked each other's musical tastes and then got together and that's how it really started. As of late, for me, it's been all about connecting with you guys and being in nice festivals like this where it's all about connecting together. And so, you know, sincerely, thank you for being here. This is the most important thing, I think, for most of the artists, if not all, here is connecting with you guys and having a good time together. So thank you so much for being here and supporting independent music. For, for people like us, it means a lot. So thank you. Thank you.